All right, you masters, this is some Belgian pepper, and today I want to talk about the importance of woolen blankets and all the survival uses you can do with it. Why? Because I think the woolen blanket is something that is often underestimated in the survival and prepper world. Uh, one, uh, one would say, yeah, but why would you use a woolen blanket? I have the, all these uh, top-notch materials from the camping stores, they, they are lightweight, they, are, they can be folded compact, and uh, they are very warm in such, uh, such and such degrees, uh, below, uh, below, sometimes below zero and all that. And to those people I say, yeah, those are the good things about it. But in my personal experience, I have some more benefits in a woolen blanket than such materials, for the reasons I'm going to tell. Uh, like I said before, people will say all materials are lighter and smaller. Well, that's true. Uh, if you compare this, this is a this is actually a very compact sleeping bag, and this is a woolen blanket. You can see there is some difference in size. Weight wool is perhaps a little bit heavier than this modern uh, sleeping bag, but. Uh, what I like, what I, oh, I'm going to tell you why I would prefer this over this. Uh, this is a story that I have often told, and that is when I was hiking in the Ardennes, uh, there was a flood from a heavy rain, and everything was wet. I mean, like everything my tent, all my gear, my clothing, everything was wet. So I had to get through the cold night, and yeah, I only I, I used wool, wool in that moment. And what I noticed is, when I was, uh, wool is one of those materials, when it gets wet, it retains 80% of its I isolation uh, I uh, heat. So even when it's soaking wet like then, it kept me warm through the night. Another thing is, because it kept me warm, my, I, my body could dry up because the materials, uh, the, uh, the dampness and the wet, wetness of my body was taken through the materials of the wool and it vaporizes uh, on the outside. So I was drying while uh, while being in a wet wool, so to say. So that was a uh, benefit of it. So if you had something like this, like modern materials, like this, but the problem is, if you get in a sleeping bag and you are soaking wet, the, all the damp, the moist, will stay inside of the bag. And usually these materials are made from something like uh, like those uh, uh, feathers from chick from ch small chicks, uh, you know what I mean. Those very those very uh, small feathers, and uh, the problem is when those get wet, this will get useless, and that's the biggest difference between this and, and a woolen blanket in my opinion, because this will work even when you're soaking wet, and this this will fail you when it gets soaking wet. Uh, another benefit of wool uh, is it's more durable. Uh, this woolen blanket is from a uh, World War. Uh, what, uh, what do we say? Uh, it's from a from the Belgium Army, and it's like from the 60s, and it's still in top condition. There is almost no tear, so it still works, uh, and it has been used a lot. This, if I would use this to, uh, on a few hikes, there will be tears and such inside of this, and it will be harder to clean. Wool, you can scrub it, you can scrub the dirt off with this. If you scrub this, there is chance that it will start to degrade or get teared. So another win for uh, for the woolen blanket, in my opinion. Uh, another thing is, if you are putting a woolen blanket around you, uh, you know what, I'm going to show you because this is part of the video. Uh, also another thing is, I can wear this wool around my bug out bag or around my body. Uh, so there's not really that big of a pro problem. I'll take this off. So, in that way, if you use it around your body, that's some extra protection uh, that you can retain your body heat. But this, uh, a modern, uh, modern uh, sleeping bag, you have to put in your bag to keep it dry. So that will take up space, and this you can wear on the outside of your bag, and it will still be fine. So, uh, you know what? Let's go to the first point. And that is what you, what you can do with a woolen blanket. And it's one of those survival uses. You can roll it open. 
going to lower the camera. You can roll it open, and if you got some gear, uh, I did not prepare that well, so just take the uh, first gear that you see around here. You can take your gear, put it here around, put it all like a bug out roll in your. I made a video about a bug out roll and why it's useful, but this is the same thing. If you got gear or stuff and you need to get out very quick, you can just roll it on, roll it on like that. Uh, Take some rope, tie the, tie the sides off, and you got a bug out roll. And if you need to open it again, you can just open it, and all the gear is uh, ready to use. So that's another benefit of a uh, woolen blanket. In contrary, you can reuse it as a secondary bag, is what I'm trying to say. So let's open it. Put the camera back uh, to this side. All right, so a wool blanket. Uh, wool, another benefit that I wanted to talk about is if you're going to sit next to a campfire and you have modern materials, those will either melt if you are too close to the fire and during a hike or a survival situation, you want to sit as close to the fire to get, to get the most heat of it. You cannot just build a cozy campfire and yeah, make it too big because it might be a little bit too, uh, it can attract noisy uh, robbers or people you don't want to see you, so sometimes a campfire has to be small. Or there's not a lot of wood or other kind of fuels to keep the fire on, so sometimes you have a small fire and you make the, you've got to take the, make the best of it. So you can just put it around you and sit close to the fire and warm up that way. But the thing is, if you're going to do it and you sit too close, if it was made out of modern, modern materials, it will to be, and there is some sparks landing on you through modern materials, it would melt through it. So there will be holes, tears inside of it. It will melt, it will deform or harden, and yeah, those are things that uh, will be annoying. But with this, you can sit close to the fire, you can even almost touch the fire, and it will not have any damage, uh, not that much damage to the wooden blanket. And that's uh, a very good uh, thing in my opinion. Uh, so, uh, what a, what the disadvantage is, is in my eye, uh, what I notice is, uh, if you take one of these old woolen blankets and uh, it's very dusty, so if you use it inside of a tent and you're really sensitive to dust particles, uh, yeah, then you can get a runny nose or allergic reaction, so that's something that you need to watch out for. But if you're going on a bug out, and you need some extra warmth or protection, you can just, like with the great kilt, I made a video about it, wear it, wear it like this, and you will be protected against elements. So even if you get wet, 80% of your body heat will be retained inside of this. And, uh, oh, excuse me, I need to sneeze. Ugh. No, it did not work. Where was I? Ah. You can walk around your bug out with your bug out bag on your back like this, or you can use, use a safety pin, to, uh, pin use it like this, and it's an improvised raincoat that will protect you against uh, rain. Uh, if it gets really, it's, if it really rains, yeah, it will get wet. Like, but like I said, it will retain some of its warmth. But uh, if it's light rain, it will protect you and keep you even dry. So it's like those capes that they use in the medieval in the medieval times, and you can use it just like this and keep yourself. Cozy and warm, even if you have something big like a bug out bag uh, around your back, and you can keep everything a little bit um, drier and more warmer. So, that's another thing that you cannot do with something like uh, a modern uh, sleeping bag. Uh, if you're going to sleep, you can turn this into uh, an improvised uh, shelter. You can take the edges and hang it up. Uh, if you can see, this is a very big blanket for the size that you just saw, and you can make uh, overhead shelter cover with it and you can sit dry beneath it. Uh, downside is if it gets wet it will get more heavier so that's something that you need to take account in. If you are going to to pack in it's wet it will weigh more and yeah for some people it could be problematic during a bug out if you already have a heavy bug out pack. Another thing is you can use it just also as a sleeping bag. Uh, I know it's obvious that you use a wooden blanket to stay warm, but 
there is a, a big mistake that a lot of people make. I'm going to show you if the camera is stay on. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah. First of all, what I first would do is lay something that uh, will protect you against the moist underground. So in this case, I always have uh, one of my rain ponchos with me. I'm going to open it up. I have always this standard in my bug out bag, so I will put it on the ground. And as you can see, this is a huge moist protection. On top of that, you lay your woolen blanket. It almost covers the whole thing. What you do next is, uh, you just not put it around you. The thing is, the colder it is, the more layers you want. So you can try, with a blanket like this, you can wrap it around two times around you. But if you want to mo retain the most body heat from a woolen blanket, lay on the blanket. First of all, you take a little bit of the downside, put it first around your feet like this. Then you take the sides, put it on like that. So there is now it's wholly covered. There are no holes or slides where the body heat uh, really can escape. So you have the most profit of your body heat, and you just lay down. Take this, put it around here, put it around here, and now I have the most profit and I'm also a little bit warm from uh, the cold underground because the blanket is not on top of me, but also beneath me. So that way you can, uh, you can retain the moist body heat with a woolen blanket, and if you have a bigger blanket, I would say get a bigger blanket that is smaller, uh, with uh, smaller fabric materials, so you can wrap it around multiple times, depending on how cold the situation is. Uh, so the, and another thing that I want to mention is, and this is what a lot of people will say negative about the woolen blanket, and that is, but it's not that warm. The thing is, many people want to sleep comfortably, so they will take off their their most their outer clothing, and they will just uh, they want to sleep inside of a tent or a sleeping bag with less on so it's more comfortable but they are still warm so survival prepping and even in my opinion hiking is not really about comfort it is more about survival it will never be as warm but uh, if you the, the thing is you have to wear clothing your regular clothing and uh, like i said before if your clothing is wet it can dry while you're in the uh, woolen blanket that way and still re uh, retain 80% of the insulation and uh, yeah it's something that you also can wrap up very quickly so uh, imagine if you're sleeping and you're actually on somebody trespassing on somebody's land or some there are robbers or there's danger around and like i said before you're sleeping like this and you just need to get out of dutch because you're do the hobo methods, wrap it up and get the hell out of there. So with a sleeping bag, there is a danger that you hear something, there's danger you have to zip, make noise with the zipper, get a uh, worm yourself out of the out of the uh, sleeping bag, and by then somebody also already could hurt you or attack you. Or you uh, you should uh, you have such a sleeping bag that is still full of pockets with air from, from sleeping in it. It's not that easy to put that away, but with the wooden blankets, like I said, it's rolling up and get out of oops, excuse me, out of dodge. So these are the biggest benefits of a wooden blanket in my opinion. Yes, they are heavier and but and they are perhaps a little bit uh, harder to come by in certain areas. And yes, they are not feeling that well. I'm going to take <laughs> Why did I take it? It's out like this. Yes, these materials are very crude materials, and not a lot of people like like the touch of this. They want something very soft. But like I said before, survival is not uh, comfort is not the first uh, thing that you need in survival. 
it's about what works and the reason why also why I thought about woolen blankets is people use this for centuries so it has properties that were beneficial and it's something that is lost to us with modern materials in my opinion and yes they are heavier yes they are, don't feel that good but there are so many beneficial properties about a woolen blanket that is that cannot be matched with modern materials or they have to be very very expensive modern materials but my my biggest uh, the biggest advantage is it's durable like i said before you can sit close to the fire without uh, melting or burning it or making holes inside of it you can go through a lot of experiences uh, before it will tear or start to degrade so yeah walking through a forest with branches and thorns yeah, this can give you a little bit of protection against it and it can also uh, be easy repaired. If you want to repair something that is insulated with like this uh, sleeping bag or some other modern material clothing that is in several very uh, refined layers, it tears, it's very hard to repair it and if you repair it, it will not be as effective as usual. But uh, so yeah, that's why the uh, wooden blanket is, in my opinion, better. I can keep going on about this. Uh, I would say try it out and you will discover it for yourself. Uh, so thank you for watching and see you in the next video. Cheers!